you're tired of hearty winter meals, you're looking for something warm and comforting that has a little pizzazz. Well, taking your soups to the next level, we've got Chef Paul Lillikin. <laughs> I okay. feel like there's enough time for one more soup. There's always spring. enough time for one more soup, especially when you do it the way you do it, because it's not just a soup, it's a soup with a little topping bar. So right. it's, you're making it a little bit more exciting. Exactly. This isn't soup just for, you know, a lonely winter night at home. Right. This is a soup that you could take to a dinner party. You could take this to a potluck. Yes. And there's just a few little secret tricks that I'll show you and how to sort of take it up a notch. Okay, sounds good. So this is a caramelized smoked sausage, onion, and butternut oh. squash soup. Sounds amazing. And it all starts with the smoked sausage. I use yes. two smoked sausages diced up and I render them off. So I extract, I render that smoky fat out of there and yeah. that's what I use to brown my onions. So when you say render, it what does that mean? It just means to cook it out. Like when you, okay. when you cook bacon and you render out the fat, mm. that's rendering. Yes. And you're doing the exact same thing here. Okay. So we have browned our onions off here in that smoked sausage fat. Yeah. And now some pretty classic flavorings. We're gonna add some garlic. Two yes. cloves. Okay. Did you do anything to that garlic, or you could just I put just it in raw? I just minced it. Just minced it. Yep. Okay. A lot of time. Classic flavoring with onion and garlic. Yeah. You'll smell that right away. Lovely. So you add that in, and it's all about the flavor building when it comes to a good soup. It's right? all about making a flavor base. Yeah. Some white wine vinegar. Nice. For acidity. Mm-hmm. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. To taste, and a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. A good amount of pepper. Okay, good. And then in goes our butternut squash, which I've just peeled and diced. It's the, probably the most popular soup for people to make. I mean, even I think so. people who are anti soup, <coughs> me. It's pretty like easy. Like a butternut squash soup. Like it's an easy soup, it's a hearty soup, it's it always healthy. tastes good, it's healthy, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. And butternut squash is easy to handle. And it's easy to handle. Right. So on top of that, we have some no salt added chicken broth. Okay. Just no salt added so you can control the amount of salt in it. Sure, yeah. And that's really all there is to it. You're gonna mix that up, cover it, bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and let yeah. that go for about 30 minutes till it's tender. Okay, beautiful. Just take a fork and make sure it's tender. All right, so your house smells good. Exactly. A half an hour has passed. Half an hour has passed. We have some already going here. Yeah. Isn't that amazing how 30 minutes goes by and just... <laughs> <laughs> TV so magical. Yeah, and into a blender. Now this is where it, it helps to have a good quality blender. Yeah. And you want to blend it while it's hot. Okay. You get a silkier it. soup when it's hot. Okay. So if I could just get you to maybe tilt the pot for me. Sure. Teamwork. A little bit of this. Yeah. It's a two-person job always, and this is why I hang out in the kitchen with a drink <laughs> and help yes. my husband. This in? Yeah, go for it. All in. All in. Perfect. Okay. Now just cover it. I'll take that rag back for safety go. purposes. Right yeah, do not here. have that splash up all over us. That would be no. a bad scene. That would be a party foul. Right? Oh, it's beautiful. And you know what? This is, whoa. I was going to say it's not very loud. Never mind. <laughs> but it doesn't take very long. Yeah. So you're getting a nice, silky texture. A nice silky texture. On your soup. <laughs> Perfect. And that's it. Now we're just going to give it, this is a good time to taste. Okay. So before well, we serve it. Well, you go for it. it. That looks piping hot. That's okay. Perfect. Doesn't need it any good? more salt, but if you needed it, you could add more add salt here. Add it in here. now. Okay. So we're just going to pour it into some nice bowls. And if you're having a dinner party, this is where you could invite people to add any toppings that they like. Yeah. See that color? It's, it's beautiful. It's the right consistency. That's what you're looking for. And I like that yeah. you said you can use this for entertaining because a lot of people do think soup is one of those things you just do internally for your family because yeah. it's not that fancy. Why not do a nice soup with toppings when you're entertaining people? Exactly. And then give people a chance to choose what they like. So I have a yeah. few different toppings prepared here. What I made did you some, make? I made some crispy parsnip chips. Okay. It's as simple as using a vegetable peeler to, to make shavings of parsnip, frying them in oil. You're so fancy. And so... You could just sort of have those sticking out. Mm -hmm. Who needs potato chips when you can have parsnips? They're kind of sweet. <laughs> they, are, they actually do taste good, though. They do taste good. Oh, that's good. They actually yeah, they do. do. <laughs> Sorry. They do. You know how I feel about healthy food. <laughs> Whoops. So I like a few sort of just 
poking out. And it looks gorgeous too. Yeah. And then a few other things here. I've made a mixed herb sour cream. So this is just sour Ooh. cream with some chopped dill, basil, parsley. Yes. It adds a little bit of richness. Mm-hmm. And it looks pretty. So, so you can put a dollop of that. A nice little dollop right on top. Why choose one when you can have all three toppings, right? Right. I don't know who would pick just one. But I it, wouldn't. Right I on feel top like, like this that. is. Is it burning? Yeah, it's fine. That's it's okay. Over there. The soup's all out. And then the best part, some of that caramelized smoked sausage right on top. Oh, lordy. Okay, soup's looking good today, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, give it up for Paul, our genius chef. A little extra little touch now when you Thank actually you. do entertaining at home with your hubby yeah what would be do you have a signature dish surf and turf oh you do surf, sure. and surf and turf if you want to impress somebody yes. I love surf and turf especially during grilling season surf and turf okay. should be done on the grill what do you what do you include in your surf and turf because there's many different options so right? I really love snow crab with steak oh and my an gosh. off cut of steak you don't have to use beef tenderloin you could use flank steak you could yes. use hanger steak which has a lot more flavor yeah um, yeah, with some nice grilled vegetables, something light, something... See, I'm already in summer, you can tell. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so I'll be over Saturday around 6 p.m. Exactly. <laughs> See you at the grill. Right? <laughs> this, uh, this recipe is on our website at cityline.tv. Thank you, Chef Paul. Yep.